This is Grand Anse, one of the most impenetrable regions of Haiti. It's also bandit country. An aid truck was recently ambushed here by a group of armed men. In the provincial capital, Jeremy, police told us they don't have a single functioning vehicle. The only working police cars here belong to the UN. But we're journeying even further from the control of Haiti's government, up into the mountains to meet one of this country's most famous fugitives. We're in one of the most remote parts of Haiti right now, and as you can see, the roads are in a very bad condition, which makes it a perfect hiding place for a man who says he's been targeted by the Haitian government and US authorities over the past few years. Thanks for talking to Al Jazeera. His name is Guy Philippe. In the dusty town of Pestel, he's in charge. While Haiti struggles to cope in the aftermath of its devastating earthquake, he's giving his first television interview in over four years to Al Jazeera. Now we've become a, a, a country of beggars, begging, 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 please, United States, please, Canada, please, England, please, Europe, come and help. Uh, we could have uh, d done something, but my people, my government, my president, he prefers to wait for American, French, or, you know, European to come and, and help. The president, he cannot handle this case. I should have resigned first. Philippe took us on an impromptu walk through the town, closely watched by his bodyguards. It's hard to say just how much support he has nationwide. Apart from leading the coup which ousted former president Jean Bertrand Aristide, he's accused of abusing his power to get rid of political opponents. I was a police chief. As a police chief, I had to do my job. And I did it as well as, as I could. Whatever I did in the past, I would do it again if I have to. He's also accused of drug trafficking by the USA and says a deal was done between the current government and the Americans and that he has no connection to cocaine smuggling. So there's no truth in any of there's those? There's no truth, no evidence, nothing. He says US drug enforcement agents in helicopters have tried to kidnap him but that he's confident of continuing to evade arrest. I won't turn myself to some illegal stuff. If they do it properly, coming here with a warrant, giving to the Asian justice that will invite me, I will go. I promise you, you can come and I'll go with you. Actually, I want to go to justice because there are stuff I want to do for my people, for my country, and if I don't go to justice, I won't be able to do that. But where does he stand legally with the Haitian government? We managed to speak to the justice minister, a man who, like Guy Philippe, backed the coup against former President Aristide in 2004. Is he, is he welcome back? If he has any problem with the law, he'll be arrested. If he has no problems, he'll be allowed to get on with his customary activities. A cryptic answer that says a lot about Haiti's political landscape, where a man like Guy Philippe can continue to harbor political ambitions. Who do you think would make the best president? The best president? People that love Haiti the most. Yourself? I might be a good one. It's still something that you you would like to happen in the future at some, at some point? Yeah, I would like it to happen. Sebastian Walker, Al Jazeera, in Pestel, Haiti.